Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see, is a story time video. I've never done a video like this before, so bear with me. I've watched a couple just to kind of see what it's like, but yeah, I'm gonna be talking about my, I guess, I don't even know how to start it off, how to explain it. Basically, I guess I'll start from the beginning of my life dealing with fake accounts and people impersonating me, impersonating my sister, and all of that good stuff. So let's just start from the beginning. So when I was like 14, 15 years old, I moved to the United States. And I was just then getting into social media, and this is back when, Gosh, it was like Black Planet and Bebo and all those other random, like the beginnings of social media before MySpace. And so I made an account just like everybody else. And one day at school, my friend had came up to me and said, hey, do you have two accounts? And I was like, no. And I think she said on Bebo or something. I was like, no. And she was like, well, there's like somebody using your pictures. So I was like, what the heck? So didn't really pay attention to it. Fast forward about a couple years when I'm in high school. This is like 06, 07 when MySpace is really, really popping. And like everybody else, I was super on MySpace. Like I was posting all the time and changing my profile pic and my background and music and all that stuff like everybody else. But it was like people were stealing me and my sister's pictures. And a lot of you all probably heard of the Kendall twins or whatever, or seen my face or my sister's face before and didn't know that there were tons of accounts using our photos. And so I dealt with a lot of people thinking that they talked to me or thinking that they knew me or whatever. And even in high school, starting in high school, I remember we went on a trip to New York. And this was like when I was 16 and me and my sister were in a mall and we were shopping and these other kids had walked up to us and were like, hey, is your name Jade? Is your name Simone? And we're like, yeah. And they were like, oh, like, we're friends on MySpace or something. And I was like, okay, because I knew that I didn't have anybody that was I was friends with that was in New York. At least I didn't think so because back then I was kind of learning the ropes of social media. So I would add anybody and everybody. Um, but I really didn't know if I was actually friends with these people or not. I wasn't. Um, and so ended up like ha being the first kind of confrontation, first time I ever had like a real life, like somebody recognized me from the internet. And so this continued every single time, literally every single time we went to a different city. So if we went on family trips to visit our cousins or we went to um, a trip to another city or whatever, it would happen. This happened all throughout high school. Now on top of that in high school, uh, while our photos were kind of circulating the internet all over, um, then the harassing started. So basically there was, I don't know if it was one person, three people, five people, I have no idea. But basically this is when me and my sister started being harassed and blackmailed and um, yeah, just kind of um, being harassed on a regular basis, crazy emails, um, threatening us, threatening to send uh, things to our parents. Uh, we had multiple emails accounts hacked into, multiple social accounts hacked into. All of that stuff was happening in high school. And a lot of people uh, ask me, you know, you know, how do you deal with the negativity on YouTube or on social media and stuff like that? It's because, honestly, I've learned how to cope with negativity via the internet. I was cyberbullied for years, like, all throughout high school, through college, like completely through college. And I just had to learn how to let go of the things that were happening because, or things that were being said to me because I could not harbor all of it in myself because it really was very, very, very upsetting. Um, and it was just like crazy. And so, and I won't go into too much detail about that because the last thing I wanna do is give the people that used to do this to me and my sister the time of day on my channel. So quickly going through that story, that piece of it, um, basically that followed us through college. And when I graduated from high school, I thought, well, it's going to end now. Like people are over it. That's like high school stuff. It's really petty that people make fake accounts. Mind you, I graduated high school in 2009. 
right? And so I was like, this is not going to follow me into college. So turns out it did follow me into college. The very first party I ever went to on campus was where I was approached by a guy who thought they were talking to me. And I was like, I don't know who you are. Um, I'm sorry. I even had to show him my ID, which actually started becoming a very a common practice for me like I literally would get stopped all the time and I would have to show people my ID I would have to show people my phone number because people would get really upset like I've been manhandled before I've had people like go off on me before and I even had one guy he had came to another party that I was at um, afterwards he came up to me everybody went to Whataburger if you're not from Texas Whataburger is like the after the club spot slash anytime spot because it's amazing so much better than In-N-Out, but whatever, that's beside the point. Um, but I was, we were at Whataburger and uh, he came up to me and I could see him across the room kind of like staring at me for a while. So when I was leaving, he like ran up to me and was like, hey, aren't I staying with you tonight? And I was like, what are you talking about staying with me? Mind you, I was a freshman in college. So I was like, what? And I had a boyfriend. Okay, so uh, another note to this is that I had a boyfriend from the age of 16 basically till I was 22, 23 years old. So on and off basically. And I never talked to anybody like that over the internet, ever. I never had relations with anybody over the internet. So mind you, throughout this entire time, people have been thinking that they've been talking to me or whatever. So this guy was like, yeah, I was like, no, I don't know who you are. He's like, no, I've been texting you all night and I came all the way out here to spend time with you, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, what are you talking about? So basically, uh, I had to show him my phone. I was like, I haven't gotten any text from you. I don't know who you're texting, but you're not staying with me tonight. And I don't know who you are, so keep it pushing. So that was another, that was an incident. Uh, one time I was in Miami with my friends and a guy was like walking up and down. We were on South Beach and on South Beach, there's like all these tables that are like set up um, along South Beach with all the restaurants if you've ever been there. So you, people can literally like walk up to your table because it's outside. And this guy kept p- pacing back and forth past our table and we're like, what the hell? And so He stops. He's like, hey, I've been trying to reach out to y'all all all day. I thought I was picking y'all up at the airport. We were like, what? What? And so basically the story was that me and my sister had been tweeting about going on a trip to Miami with our friends and all that stuff like everybody does, like doing a countdown and all that kind of thing. Oh, just arrived in Miami, stuff like that. And supposedly the person that was communicating with him and his friend were impersonating us so they were keeping up with our tweets and getting back to them to where they even had that guy go to the airport and wait on us to pick us up and show us around Miami so it was even crazier because not only was he completely like what are you talking about I'm confused he was a kappa and his friend slash line brother I guess was a kappa from Illinois or something and he like they knew that we were Greek like they knew I was a Delta that someone was an AKA the accounts that they had been talking to were using like our sorority like all that kind of stuff in the accounts so mind you when people make accounts like the ones that we had making accounts of us they did their research I'm talking about they knew everything about our lives they had followed us and paid attention to what we were doing online for so long that they could tell you our life stories because just from different tweets from Facebook posts from biographies or description boxes we would write and stuff like that they would get more and more information about us and so uh, basically that was happening and that was like an insane situation he ended up being fine whatever we explained everything but it took about 20-30 minutes of him like going through stuff like being just flabbergasted like what I I don't understand what's happening because mind you this is before catfish so this is before people really knew like how intense this stuff really got and so during this time you know there's there's Kindle twin Facebook pages and Kindle twin fan pages and all this stuff and me and my sister were just like what like we don't even do anything we're in school we're in high school or whatever we're in college whatever we it's, it was so crazy even my ex uh, who had been with me through a lot of kind of like the craziness parts of the catfishing and all that stuff He got to, well, basically he went to the NFL and we were still together at that point and he was, you know, with his teammates and stuff like that. And 
I guess I my picture had came up or or somehow I became the subject of conversation and basically the guys were like picking fun at him because they were like bro you think your girl is faithful to you I know this this and this dude that plays on this and this and this team we've talked to her they've hung out with her they've done this with her blah 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 right and he and this is on my college graduation day so instead of and he was a rookie so instead of you know being congratulatory to me for graduating from college I was already upset that he couldn't be there because he had to be at rookie camp and get ready for you know the season and all that stuff um he was mad at me the whole day and um was was actually not believing me and was taking what they were saying to heart and I was like are you kidding? Like, you've been with me through this. You just met these dudes. First off, guys lie all the time. Second off, you know that I have so many people using my photos and pretending to be me. Why would you believe that I was talking to some random dude on some random NFL team that I don't even, like, no, I'm, I've never been that person. And so that was crazy. So it was just like a lot of things were happening. And mind you, the fakes would send my ex stuff craziness to, like, lies and stuff like that to make him like not trust me to break up with me and stuff like that because think about it if I had a boyfriend it would mess up like their opportunity to like talk to different guys online because people would see pictures of me and my boyfriend or whatever and you know it would disrupt their stories right crazy okay crazy how in-depth this crap goes so anyway so that was happening and yeah it continued uh, until, honestly, like l the year before last year is is the last time I had any issues with my accounts and stuff like that. Um, I think, honestly, after it been, had been going on, whoever the main people were that were like emailing me all the time and like harassing me and stuff like that, I think they just kind of grew out of it. Um, slash my YouTube world started to blow up, uh, which I started YouTube a lot of a lot of for the reason of trying to disrupt the way my photos were being portrayed out on the internet because I was like all these people are using my photos and they don't even know the real me like they don't even know that I'm a good person that I'm humble that I'm hardworking. they don't know that side of me so I'm gonna start a YouTube so one I can like do all this beauty stuff but two to also show that like I'm not this crazy girl that they may think that they're talking to and so I started to do my YouTube stuff and here and there I would have issues little issues with email hacking and stuff like that um, but then you know, when I started getting paid by brands to do um, work on social media, uh, I had issues with my Instagram like two years ago. So my Instagram kept going up and down, up and down, up and down because people kept hacking into it. And this was when I was at like 20 or 30K and my Instagram was gone for like six, seven months. If you guys remember, if you followed me back then, you would have known that like I've changed my Instagram page like so many times because it was gotten, it gotten hacked so many times. Um, it had just like messed up, um, a bunch. So I just, yeah. So anyway, I, it stopped happening like a year or two ago, but I also learned a lot from that experience because I don't, say everything about myself on the internet any longer i'm very cautious about what i put out there what i say how i say things because you never know what somebody can do with that information because I, i'm telling you i've had my college loan documentation hacked into and my social security number stolen and stuff like that i've had my school edu account hacked into where if you're in college you know what blackboard is so my blackboard was shut down for a period of time when i had online classes i couldn't access my classes i couldn't access anything for school i had to follow a police report and all this stuff and so a lot of things happen over time I, I still get stopped a lot um, but mainly because of YouTube and I'm so glad that I was able to change me feeling awkward every single time somebody came up to me because I was like oh do they think that they talk to me do they think that they know me because I'm telling you I would get hugs I would get things from guys and thinking that they knew me and I'm just like I don't know what to tell you but I don't know you it's a very awkward thing to do like awkward and I'm a nice person so I try to be nice because you never know who's crazy out there either so 
Yeah, I transitioned into being, when I get stopped now, I, more than likely, it's because of my YouTube. And I've been able to use kind of like what used to like boggle me down and what used to be like a really negative thing in my life. I've transitioned it into something really great. A lot of you all started following me in the beginning, beginning because you recognized who I was. And I, I credit a lot of my beginning audience from that kind of craziness. And now I can advocate for, you know, getting past bullying, getting past cyberbullying, uh, kind of the things to keep your eye out for because now with the show Catfish being on what five or six seasons now, people are a lot more aware of how people can really manipulate and deceive people on the internet. It's so easy to do and no matter what happens, nothing that you put out there, after you upload something, it is out of your control completely. So you got to remember that. It's out of your control. You don't know who has that information, those photos, those videos, all of that. So be very careful about what you're putting out there because I, I had to learn really the hard way before I got to this point because I think a lot, everything happens for a reason and everything prepares you for the next level and I think that all of that really prepared me for where I'm at now, honestly. I think it was all practice. It was all kind of sharpening iron to, to be ready for battle for now, for me living a life completely on social media, basically. And so, uh, yeah, if you guys have crazy stories, I get them all the time about, you know, you thought you were talking to me or your friend or your cousin or whoever. Um, if you have crazy stories, tell them down below. Like that, let's like put people out on blast. Let's like talk about the crazy situations. Cause I think for a lot of people, one thing that I try to give as much as possible is closure because I get a lot of people who email me or text me, not text, thank God, um, or, or DM me or whatever, uh, saying that they talked to this person for six months and they fell in love or they really cared about this person and now they just found out that it's a fake person. Um, that is hurtful, you know? Like, could you imagine really caring for somebody, really talking to them on the phone, talking to them all the time, and then figuring out like they're not who you thought that they were? Like, that's very hurtful. So what I like to try to do is give people closure in that because I think, a lot of people can't move on from situations without closure and I would hate for, even though it's not my fault and I shouldn't have to apologize, I still do because at the end of the day, I, I would never wish that on my worst enemy to be completely deceived and um, your heart just torn apart because somebody else wanted to use your attention for themselves. They were so selfish that they just used you to get the attention that they wanted. Um, so yeah, uh, let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know how long it's going to be. Probably kind of long. It's a story time. So I guess they're supposed to be a bit longer. But yeah, uh, if you enjoyed this video, let me know. Like and subscribe. And let me know if you guys want to hear more about that situation or tips on how to deal with cyberbullying or anything like that or more story times. My life is kind of cray. Um, and I've had some amazing experiences also in my life. So just let me know. I'd love to share. And until next time, talk to you later. Bye.